Hello everybody and welcome back to another Helldivers 2 video. Today we're going to be comparing and contrasting the Railgun versus the Arc Thrower. Now I know what you're thinking, okay? I recorded a video a while ago, posted it just the other day, using the Arc Thrower, went on a rant, everybody commented skill issue, blah blah blah, yeah I get it, okay? I've used it more, I've watched a few videos, I understand. It was a skill issue, I'll give you guys that one, okay? But I digress, that's how I felt in the moment. We have since grown up, all right? So, now that we got that out of the way, I'm gonna give it a fair shot here, because it is good. But we're gonna just go pros and cons here for a bit. All right, we're gonna see which one seems to fare a little bit better. So we're gonna jump straight into it, starting off with damage, all right? Now, clearly, the win goes to the railgun. The railgun just does way more damage, its output does way more, it's better against armor. Now I know what you're saying, you're screaming, the arc thrower just negates armor. I know, it goes straight to the health pool and that is a bonus there, but either way, the railgun does more damage overall. Especially when you go into unsafe mode, you are going to be ripping through heavy enemies with a railgun. It, hands down does better against hulks i can't say bile titans uh because bile titans they have this weird thing while they're spewing spraying throwing up whatever you want to call it you pop them in the jaw it doesn't matter if it's an arc thrower or a railgun you can pretty much take it out one to two shots so that doesn't count but if i'm coming up against a charger or a hulk i'm going to take my chances with the railgun over the arc thrower any day uh, the Arc Thrower can do things, it can get away with it, I will, you know, I'll give it that. It can take down a Hulk, it can take down a Charger, but pound for pound, the Railgun just does better. Okay, it, it's going to hit harder. The Charger, you can break its legs open and just kill it so fast. It, It's not fair, especially when you're playing at difficulty 9 or Helldive difficulty. It's That's where it shines the most when it comes to the damage output, alright? Though, that's kind of hard to say because uh, at Helldive difficulty, the damage or the health of the enemies doesn't really go up. It's more just the quantity of enemies. But we'll move past that. All right. So now we're going to be talking about ammo consumption. Okay. Obviously, Arc Thrower is going to win here. You are, you are. Well, we're, actually, we're going to combine these two. Okay. Ammo consumption with crowd control. Okay. Because I feel like they go hand in hand. The arc thrower, you are going to start ripping out rounds. You you can after the first shot is placed, it can its fire rate increases. The arc goes between enemies, and you are going to be just ripping through them, and you don't have to worry about ammo. That is a big plus. I mean, you have unlimited ammo. You're just going to be ripping through rounds. You're just going to be shredding everything in the vicinity, including your teammates. But they should be the ones watching out. They know. They know that you have an arc thrower. They should get out of your way. Okay? That's not your fault. But you are going to just destroy everything. Now, crowd control and ammo consumption with the railgun. Both are non-existent. It has 20 rounds. I think 21 with a full mag and one in the chamber. Or full, you know, whatever. And one in the chamber. 21 and you are not going to do any crowd control at all. You can, it's charge is too slow, it, aiming it, you have to be spot on, you, and it just takes time. The penetration is not good. It is there. Uh, I have managed to kill my own teammates with that too, by penetrating through enemies, not thinking that it could, but it does. It will penetrate, it will kill them, but not as consistently as the arc thrower. You want to kill your teammates and everything else? Arc thrower wins. For sure. Alright. Uh, now we're going to talk about range. Range is a tough one. Because they both have very good range. They, they can shoot really far. The arc thrower shoots a lot farther than most people think. But the railgun edges over in consistency at range. Right? So when you have the arc thrower, you can just ADS, you can nail a weak point on a hulk or whatever and be able to take it out from a longer distance. The arc thrower, 
not so much. I mean, you it will hit from a long distance, but unless it's a small enemy, you have the disadvantage again, you know. But it's it will aim itself, but I feel like from a range, I'm more likely to pull out a railgun and start plinking things off than, you know, taking out the arc thrower. It's sometimes you'd go to shoot at range. I've had inconsistent shots at range. Or if there's a fence in the way, it just, it, it doesn't care about the enemy at that point. It just doesn't do anything. Even if you're aiming high, you know, you try to arc it, it just doesn't want to go through a fence or whatever. Whereas the railgun will just blast through that fence and take out anything and it's anything behind it. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna win in that aspect range wise, right? You know, but a lot of times they're both pretty they're both pretty similar, right? I mean, they both have the charge shots. Uh, granted, there's give and take, right? You can have unsafe mode on the railgun, which gives you more damage, or you can just fire a little bit faster with a faster charge and take out more enemies with the arc thrower, right? Uh, they both can take down a bile titan when you know, throwing up or whatever you want to call it. They can both do that very consistently, but they both can also handle hulks and chargers. Just like I said, the railgun does it just that much better, right? Uh, medium enemies. Medium enemies is where we're going to, where things differ, right? So coming up against the medium enemies, and when I mean medium enemies, I mean like scout striders, stalkers, you know, berserkers, uh, you know, missile berserker whatever shield all those guys you know who i'm talking about they're both great right they, they both do really well um you know the railgun has the advantage of you know if there's a guy with a shield you can obviously aim a little bit easier and hit him in the face you might be able to take him down a little bit faster that way um you can take off limbs a bit easier with the railgun and do more damage that way uh, but the arc thrower has the ability to, you know, arc between enemies. It takes effect in medium enemies too. Berserkers are coming at you with chainsaw arms. You're going to take, they usually come in groups of threes. You're going to take all three of them down way faster with an arc thrower, right? The shield uh, guy doesn't even matter. You know, most the rockets, the shields, the stalkers and everything, the, the arc thrower just doesn't care about any of that. It's just going to kill him right? The only advantage you have in a medium enemy is the Scout Strider, and that advantage goes to the Railgun. Uh, the Arc Thrower is a little wonky when you're trying to aim for its legs. It's pretty inconsistent. It is doable. You can do it. But with a, a Railgun, one shot, center mass, it'll plink through the armor, hit the driver, done. Easy, right? But overall, against most medium enemies, I would rather have the arc thrower. That takes the win, for sure, right? It's it's just that good. It, it just, it does, it do, It may not do as much damage, but it's close and its damage output is way faster, making it a way better in most scenarios. I mean, other than heavies, medium and small, you're gonna take the arc thrower, which is majority of the time. and. Chances are you're playing with somebody else, they're going to be running a spear or a railgun or something that can take out those heavies for you, and you are going to put up way more numbers taking everything else out. All right. So, you know, let me know down in the comments. How do you guys use these guns? What scenarios do you use them in? Help other people. You know, help me. I, I need to learn. I'm stupid. You've seen all my videos. I'm the worst on YouTube. It, Literally, I put that in the description of every video. I'm learning. I don't care. Help me get better. Teach me how these things work. Teach other people how those work. At the end of the day, we're all here in the fight for liberty and democracy, okay? And I'll see you guys out there, all right? We're going to do this together. So leave a comment. Like it. Like the video if it helps. Share it. Subscribe. Do whatever. It's great. Every Everything's good, all right? I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright, till then, bye-bye.